Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a BMW M3 competition all-wheel drive. And next to me is another BMW M3 competition all-wheel drive. Because we want to see which colour is quickest, black or yellow. That's not true. What we're really doing here is comparing a stage one tuned M3 competition all-wheel drive against a standard car. Let me tell you about this thing. It's got the same three litre straight six twin turbo as that car. However, instead of the normal 510 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque, it's now got 600 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. That's because the guys at Wrench Studios have cracked this German ECU. No piggyback things going on here. They've cracked the ECU, so they've reprogrammed it to up this car's power. Now, other than that, nothing has changed on the car, nothing at all. Same thing, really. You've got an eight-speed automatic gearbox, all-wheel drive. The car weighs in at 1780 kilos. The price of the car starts at 77,000 pounds, though obviously if you want to tune it, you'll have to pay Wrench Studios some money, though they haven't confirmed that yet. However, if you're interested in this car, put a link to Wrench Studios' YouTube channel in the comments below, and you'll be able to see the development of this car and other things they're going to be doing with it, because it's going to be really, really interesting. I also want to say a shout out to Connor. Now, he's a chap that sorts out loads of cars for us. So I'd like you to go to his Instagram and follow him there. Please do this, because it'll help us get some more cars off him. So make sure you do this. Do it now, in fact, right? His Instagram account is kconnor150. So like C, then Connor 150 Obviously, someone else came along before him and took Connor. 150, so he had to go for Kakana. Maybe I shouldn't take the mickey out of him because he's really useful to us. Make sure you go to his account. Anyway, if you're thinking about buying a new car, check out Carwo, of course. Click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description to see how much money you can save on a new car. Or if you're trying to sell your car, you can do it through Carwow as well now. All you have to do is upload some photos, brief description, and dealers will bid on your car. So you can make sure you're getting a really good price for it. That means you don't have to put it on the classifieds, have randomers come around to your house and kick your tires and walk away and waste your time. Oh no. And because it's Carwow and we're trustworthy, because I don't assign myself to anything that's not trustworthy. The price that is agreed by the dealer, in most cases, you, you're going to get that. There's going to be no fannying around, all right? And they'll pay you by bank transfer and they'll come and take your car away from your house or wherever you want them to come and get it. Simple. Now, if you want to do that at a later date, just simply Google help me car wow. Finally, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get on with the racing. Don't know why I said in that voice. It's weird. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we drag race, I'm going to do the customary CarWow sound check. The reason is I want to prove that this car is stock. There's no, like, tuned airbox or exhaust on this. It's just the same as that one. So I'm going to rev it up. See? Same. Fine. Good. Oh, I don't know why I said same. You haven't heard that one. <laughs> I've had too much coffee. <laughs> I'm so annoying. I'm actually annoying myself. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with this video. <laughs> uh, rev up that standard M3 competition all-wheel drive. <laughs> same. It's all the same. Good. Okay, let's just get on with the race then. Three, two, one. He had me off the line because I had a crap start. Frickin' hell! Fuck hell! <laughs> Sorry about my language. This is brilliant! <laughs> oh my God, if you get and, and M I'm so excited. If you get an M3 competition all-wheel drive, get this done. No ad. Hashtag no ad. Okay, so I had a shit start and I, and I beat you. And that car was quick. Oh, can I do it again? Yeah, go on then, Matt. I was about to, you know, get all wax lyrical about how brilliant this thing was, forgetting I'm lined up next to a car exactly the same, but with 90-odd extra horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> this is quick, but that is something else. Oh, sorry for the sex noise. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like it. 
yellow. You're right. There was a moment there where both these cars were just traction limited, and I thought I was hanging on to you because I didn't get the best start that time. And then you gave me a little bit of hope, and then you just snatched it away. 600 horsepower snatch. I feel gutted. A 600 horsepower snatch. So then what exactly happened? Well, the tuned M3 won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.7 seconds, while the standard M3 took 11.2 seconds. Now we have a rolling race with the cars in their most efficient, comfortable settings, auto mode for the gearbox, just chilling, you know. Let's see how this tuned car copes with a kick down when it's suddenly surprised that it needs to overtake. Let's do it, three, two, one, go. <laughs> This hesitated a little bit. You seem to take off a little bit quicker. Maybe you pushed the accelerator a bit quicker than me. I don't know. I think I might have even been in seventh gear. Oh, we've got the um, gesture control just doing something now. Stop. Anyway, um, what gear were you in when you started pulling? Uh, sorry, Matt, I don't know. I was just staring resolutely at you to make sure I wasn't jumping. That's fine. Let's assume we're in the same gear, similar cars, same speed. Should be fine, right? Let's take that confusion away. Let's do the other rolling race. This time we're rolling racing in sportier settings and manual mode, third gear. Three, two, one, go. This just bloody picks up like crazy. It's making me swear this car. Sorry to all of you watching with children. Oh, this thing's fast. <laughs> I think I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> I need to go and um, probably see someone, have some therapy. Right, last thing. Sorry, I forgot to ask you something then, Nick. Um, let's just go through the motions. You lost, didn't you? You ask like it was ever in doubt. The only way I was going to win that race is if your car just decided I'd rather have three cylinders than six. That thing is absolutely ballistic. Now, a lot of people might be going, why do you even bother with this race? You know, tuned car versus standard car, it's pointless. Well, I just want to show you the difference that a simple stage one, just an ECU remap on this car can do to its performance. You know, it's interesting, right? Your car person or not, huh? Do you know what? Before we do the next challenge, oh, stop it. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a fast car that's a lot less expensive than one of these that doesn't have this gesture control, which keeps interrupting you. I'll put a little link to one here. Good deal on Carwan. There, link in the description. Click on that, go check out what it is. Now, let's move on. Why am I doing that? Last thing to do, brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Let's see what difference the fact that that car has carbon ceramic brakes on it and this has steels does to the braking. I know a lot of you going, it shouldn't make any difference. It doesn't improve the performance in terms of stopping on one single occasion. It's like longevity of stopping performance over and over again on track. Well, let's find out anyway. Let's just do it. Here we go, 100 miles an hour, brake. That is so close. I mean, he did win. Was it the carbon ceramics? Was it the fact that he was just a little bit quick on the brakes? Was it? I don't know. We don't know. I'm gonna go with the fact that the carbon ceramics do give you better stopping performance, even on a single stop. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, is that correct? Any engineers watching, let us know. I'll read your comments and I'll then speak the truth in future rather than just getting things wrong. I think I'm right. Anyway, if you're thinking about selling your car, don't forget to check out CarWow. Link popping out there and in the description. Go to that, silly car through CarWow. Anyway, if you haven't done it already as well, please make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Thank you very much. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a like. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Do you like these tuned car drag races? Click there for some more videos and on that box there to see how these cars all stack up against the other cars we drag raced in the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard. Thank you for watching.